Happy 2024, guys. It's finally a new year. What better time than now to develop life-changing habits and a surefire strategy that'll keep you productive all day long so that you can accomplish all of your daily tasks in 2024. I've leveraged this strategy all throughout undergrad and grad school. And having worked as a full-time mechanical engineer for over four years, I've optimized every aspect of this strategy to maximize productivity. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing this strategy with you guys. This video will be particularly helpful if you're an engineering student or professional engineer struggling with procrastination or motivation. First and foremost is health. This includes your physical and mental health. Both are equally important. Without health, your productivity will be zero and nothing else will matter. The three key components of health are sleep, which is the most crucial. Second is food and diet. And third is exercise. I can't stress how important sleep is for your health. You can be eating the healthiest foods and exercising, but without enough sleep, it'll catch up to you eventually and you'll burn out. I learned this the hard way in university when I would often pull all-nighters and the next day my mind would be literally non-existent in class. I would take these very long naps during the day, skip meals, and then wake up at night feeling like I had a hangover, then eat a huge meal. It was essentially this vicious cycle that was extremely hard to break out of. The science shows that seven to eight hours is the optimal amount of sleep that humans need to feel well rested. However, based on my experience, what might be more important than sleep quantity is sleep quality. First is going to bed around the same time every day. I personally sleep around 9 or 10 and wake up at 5 or 6. Waking up before the sun rises just makes my day feel so much longer as opposed to waking up at 8 or 9 because most people are still sleeping so there are literally no distractions and I can cross a lot of things off my to-do list. The second thing is sleeping in a dark and silent room. One thing that you absolutely must do if you're currently not doing is removing your phone from your room or placing it really far away from your bed when you sleep and turning it to airplane mode. This habit will not only provide you with a more peaceful sleeping environment, but also a strong start to the following day. What I've learned over the years is if I even look at my phone for 10 seconds, then the rest of my day is basically ruined because those 10 seconds turn into an hour or even two hours. So I won't even think about using my phone until I've woken up and done one thing from my to-do list, whether that's working out or replying to emails. The third thing is avoiding food, water, and any bright light before bed. Doing these things will ensure that you get a better night's sleep and wake up feeling invigorated. Next is your diet. Only eat unprocessed foods such as beef, chicken, or any protein of your choice, vegetables, fruits, and complex carbs like oatmeal, potatoes, and whole wheat. Now I know how hard it can be to stay away from instant noodles, pizza, chips, alcohol, and drugs in college, but if you can try to remove these things from your diet, you'll instantly feel more energetic energetic, be more productive because you think faster, and just feel better overall. The third component of health is exercise. Exercise is critical to being productive, especially if you're sitting in a classroom or in front of a computer all day. It doesn't matter what type of exercise you do, you can run, swim, play basketball, as long as you get your heart rate up and your blood pumping. It's scientifically proven that exercise improves both your physical and mental health. It helps you think and problem solve faster, improves your memory, and reduces stress and anxiety. If you can get these three areas down, your productivity is going to be through the roof. Next, we have desk setup. How you set up your desk, whether it's at home, in the office, or in your dorm, can make or break your productivity levels. Now, there's no one-size-fits-all recipe, but if you want to be a productivity grease monkey, then you have to ensure at a bare minimum that your desk has enough space and that everything on your desk works in perfect harmony. I'm currently using a standing desk, which I highly recommend, because sometimes I'm tired of sitting all day, which is terrible for your neck and posture, so I prefer to stand and work. Moving on, an indispensable part of any desk setup for an engineer are 
monitors. It doesn't matter if you're an engineering student or full-time engineer. Having at least two monitors will help you manage and switch between the hundreds of softwares and windows you have open so you can multitask. You might be watching a coding or computer-aided design tutorial teaching you how to model parts while following along in SOLIDWORKS and taking notes in Word. Imagine how inefficient and slower it would be on just one laptop or monitor. Simply by using two or three monitors or an ultra wide monitor, your productivity will double if not triple. I currently have a budget desktop computer that I built myself and I'm using a 27 inch Xiaomi monitor with a resolution of 2560 by 1440. And next to it, I have a FlipGo dual stack portable monitor by JSOX, who was kind enough to send me one for the new year. This monitor is the most portable lightweight dual monitor you'll find on the market and features an innovative never before seen magnetic design that can be used Used with three different stands. For the majority of the time I work at my desk, whether it's CADing or video editing, this monitor comes with a snap VESA adapter that you can attach to your monitor mount using the provided screws. When I'm tired of working at my desk, I'll work in the living room with my laptop and the flip go monitor by effortlessly detaching it from my desk and whipping out this snap stand that's included and snapping the monitor into place. Thanks to its magnetic design, this entire process only took me five seconds. Now what's even better is that the flip go can be folded and put into your backpack offering insane portability. If you guys didn't know, I'm a coffee fanatic, so I love to get work done at cafes and restaurants. My laptop screen just doesn't do the job for me, so I'll take my FlipGo and the Flex Folio stand that's included. Within five seconds, the FlipGo is attached and I'm off to the races working and multitasking like a madman. This monitor is a productivity machine and is a first of its kind with two monitors in one offering four display modes. The first mode is Ultra View Portrait, which combines the two screens into one. I love to use this mode for data analysis or coding in Excel or MATLAB. The second mode is Ultra View Landscape for those of you who prefer a horizontal setup. I love to use this for video editing or just simply designing parts in CAD, especially when I'm using my laptop or if I'm writing a technical report and need to reference numbers from a data sheet, this mode is also very useful. The third mode is stacked views and is my favorite, where the two screens are separate and you can have different software open in different screens. For example, if I'm trying to learn a new feature in SOLIDWORKS, I like to have a YouTube tutorial open in the top screen and follow along in the bottom screen. Finally, the fourth mode is portrait views for those of you who prefer two screens with a horizontal setup. I like to use this mode with my laptop, especially if I'm making a technical drawing and need to have other files and web pages open. Today is the first day of the FlipGo product launch and I worked with JSOX to give you guys an early bird special for all five of their models. The super early bird special only lasts today while supplies last, so be sure to check out my link in the description below. Aside from monitors, just have a good mouse, mouse pad, keyboard, speakers, you know, all of the basics of any good desk setup. One thing that often gets overlooked is setting both short and long-term goals based on your purpose. This is key when it comes to productivity. You need to ask yourself, why am I trying to be productive in the first place? Is it because you want to get good grades so you can maximize your chances of landing a dream job? Or are you trying to build a business so you can quit your full-time job? You need to find something that's meaningful to you. Like for me, I wanna become a successful YouTuber because I wanna spend more time with family and friends, travel the world, and be my own boss. If you can envision yourself landing your dream job or owning your own company, lay down a blueprint needed to get there, and say, I need to do X, Y, and Z, and set goals, then you'll feel a lot more motivated each and every day. You should always have a big picture mindset and constantly track your progress, know where you are relative to your final destination, and know where you're headed. Next is having a morning routine. There's a million different routines out there that you guys probably have seen of CEOs, athletes, and YouTubers. There's a reason why successful people tend to have routines. 
routines significantly boost productivity because you're repeating the same motions over and over again and it keeps you focused without any randomness that derails you from where you want to get to. For me, I don't touch my phone until I finish my morning routine. I might exercise, then eat a healthy breakfast, and then once I've crossed off one task from my to-do list, such as writing my video script, I'll allow myself to look at my phone for 20 to 30 minutes. Then I'll work for two to three hours before eating lunch. Eventually your routines become powerful habits that are impossible to break. You'll definitely have good and bad days in terms of motivation, so you'll need to rely on good habits and self-discipline on those days you feel unmotivated. This brings us to tip number five, which is limiting distractions from your life. This includes your phone, social media, junk food, and anything that you can identify that's negatively affecting your life. Many of these things mess up your brain's reward system by having it release loads of dopamine, which is a neurotransmitter that makes you feel pleasure. So whenever you're swiping through your phone, you're feeling a lot of pleasure without putting in any effort. That's why so many people are addicted to TikTok. They seek more and more of that pleasure because they build a tolerance to it. This makes doing mundane things that don't offer us as much dopamine, like studying or doing chores extremely hard because you're exerting a lot of effort for very little reward. Now, I'm not saying to quit these things cold turkey. In fact, you don't even have to quit these things, but be sure to limit yourself. For example, I only permit myself to go on social media for 20 to 30 minutes and play 45 minutes of video games max per day. Rewarding yourself after you've accomplished something significant can actually make you more productive and feel more motivated. For example, if you finished a project or essay for a class, there's nothing wrong with playing some video games, as long as it's not League of Legends. But it's very important that you stick to the plan of just playing one game or swiping through TikTok for 20 minutes or an hour and then getting back to whatever it is you need to accomplish. The next one is a huge game changer. Associate yourself with positivity. This means friends, your environment, and the people you interact with. You always want to be around people, whether it's your classmates or coworkers, who pull you up and make you better. Cut off ties with anyone who affects you negatively. So I got assigned this horrible roommate in college. He would play very loud music at night, use my stuff without my permission, he got bad grades, and overall just hindered my productivity and dragged me down with him. So I applied for a new roommate and immediately I felt more motivated and consequently more productive. My grades improved and positivity filled my life. The same thing goes for environment. If you're in college and there's constant noise in your dorm, or if your dorm is poorly lit, don't be afraid to go to places like the library, empty classrooms, hotel lounges, and coffee shops that are full of positive energy. Last but not least is organization. Staying organized is probably one of the easiest things to do out of all of the things we mentioned, but the difference it makes when it comes to productivity can be substantial. In university, I would always misplace my wallet, keys, and AirPods, and would spend hours looking for them when I could have placed them in a set location every time and easily save myself so much time and headache. Group all of your textbooks, notebooks, and materials for each class using binders and folders. If you're a mechanical engineering student, you'll work with a bunch of CAD, CAE, and data analysis software, so you'll want to keep all of your digital files in different folders following a system. I like to create a folder for each class and individual subfolders for homeworks, quizzes, projects, lecture notes, labs, and exams. This streamlines the entire process of locating the exact file I need. If you're into taking paperless or digital notes, Notion and Notability are two apps that I used in university to boost my productivity in the classroom. All right guys, that's it for today. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really hope this video helped you in some way. And if it did, be sure to check out my video here where I talk about the best laptops for mechanical engineering students and engineers. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.